Should be lots of space to work with. Nice shot to the top bins. Let's go. What's up guys, so we're going to be doing a series where I play until I lose and for some reason my game is kind of broken right now and I can't queue for a specific playlist but I'll just play for all game modes and whatever game mode I get I play. Um, so I'm going for solo, uh, doubles and standard I believe. I recently had queued so those are the three that I'm going to be able to play. Let's get into the video and see how they go. Alright so first game of the video is a 1v1. Uh, I'm queuing for everything like I said so it's going to be pretty, <laughs> pretty much 1v1s probably at this time of night gonna stay really close to the ball he probably has like very little boost here so I'm just gonna keep big challenging him while he throws the ball away Let's see what he does here he has still is low, low here there we go just made him challenge gave me a free ball just made sure to space myself a little bit further from the ball than he was expecting put myself just an inch away from the ball so when he hits it it bounces way off of his car and gives me the possession. Ended up bouncing pretty perfectly for me. Pretty good flick. Should be able to save it though. Not the best bounce off the post. Ended up missing the boost as well. Have to get back here. There we go. Just do a pretty aggressive challenge. Only had 12 boosts, so I didn't really want to give him too much space. Oh, I didn't get the, the bounce that I wanted. So give me the ball again, which is fine. Ended up making a pretty poor shot to the back corner. I'm gonna go right back for this corner boost. That should be okay for me. See this here. I'm gonna pop this ball like this. He's giving me a lot of space. Just gonna make it awkward for him to save so I get the boost and position. There we go. He's really uh, passive right now, so I'm just going to see what he does off of this touch. Should be able to take this corner. Oh, that was close. Oh, he got a bit of a bump on me. This could be good for him. Get this corner boost. I don't think he can turn this in. I'm not going to shoot that because he's already recovered. Kind of a sense the early challenge. Shouldn't have popped it as far as they did. There we go. It's read that he's going to pop it down. Stay aggressive on this. Not the best touch by me. He's staying really aggressive on this. I should be able to get the boost here. It's pretty high. It's going to bounce down. Nice shot to the back corner though. I knew he wasn't going to go for the boost. I just really wasn't in a, the greatest position to be able to make the next save off of like the 20 boost I had or whatever it was. There we go. I saw him aggressively challenging. Not really too much to worry about when he does that. Since I've got the 100 boost advantage, I can just pop off the ball whenever he jumps for it. I made sure to go, go at a point where he does commit and doesn't back off. Or else then it's just a waste of a pop and I just give them give him the ball. I save. Should be able to get the possession back on this though. There we go. He ro rotated a little bit too wide off the turn. Was able to get around it. And make a final pop. So far it's been pretty much pressure. All pressure for me. Might be able to score this if he doesn't back off. Ooh. I'm going to turn on this early. Probably doesn't expect it. See what he does on this this possession here. There we go. Got a good 50. Get the boost. Try to go really fast on this. Make him at least pressure. That's also fine. I'm gonna put it safely to the corner. 
There we go. He's trying to force 50-50s, which I don't really mind because I'm usually pretty good at creating good 50-50 opportunities. I'm going to put it over his head while he's rotating in the mid like that. There we go. Got a good, another, another good 50-50. Like I said, I'm not too worried about getting 50-50 opportunities. I'll stay with this. Oh, almost. Oh no, bad recovery. But even worse, uh, worse decision by him to try and turn that like they like he did off of the the clear. He's probably gonna try and shoot this. Yeah, nice shot. <clears throat> I could have probably turned off for boost a long time ago instead of trying to stay aggressive. But I've been trying to adapt to that kind of one's play style for a while now. Oof, I should have, should have just probably flicked that earlier. Uh, and I missed the boost, of course. Oh my gosh, he uh, messed up his air dribble. I actually gave him possession again because of it. Uh, <laughs> I did not expect him to do that. I shouldn't have thrown it back to him once I jumped too. I tried to jump up for his air dribble because if he goes for those like air dribble bumps, it's pretty much unstoppable. There we go. Should be a finish. Nice. Yeah, so pretty much just uh, worked through his aggression and uh, took advantage of his over commits and misposition on defense. All right, so we got Alpha Cap again. Um, let's see if he changed up his play style from the last game. Should take this back corner. He might stay on this bounce. Oof. Got a lot of room here to work with. He did the same thing he did at the beginning of the other game, where he just went for that early aggressive challenge. That should be good enough to finish. I faked the early shot, so he kept boosting and then kind of looked like a fool afterwards. <laughs> he got the first save and I just went low because he was trying to block that angle, so I just went below him. There we go, got a good 50-50 on the net towards the net, I mean. Should be just far enough for him not to be able to reach it. That was a really good 50-50 to hit the, uh, the curve towards the net back into the midfield. So he has to wait for me to make a shot. And unfortunately, he just waited way too far. I'll take this back with me. See if he tries to challenge us right away. Which he does, and I score. Because I just basically sat in front of the ball. Get an air dribble to the point where I can sit in front of it above the ball, and then when he comes into the ball below me, I have way more power to hold on to the 50-50. The so because he challenged me super aggressively, I was able to read him. Try and bop him here. And there we go. Just read him off the, off the wall there. Knew he was just going to wait for me to try and make a hit. So I went on the backboard instead and just bumped him off. Be able to score this. There we go. And that's game within a minute <laughs> of gameplay. All right. Oh, we actually got a twos game. <laughs> Let's go. So we just beat Alpha twice in ones. Um, now we're in a twos game. So it's going to feel a little different to be mid for Dapper. Nekos was there pretty early though. Should be able to take a far corner shot and it's in let's go definitely feeling pretty warmed up now um it's good to have it's kind of refreshing to have a twos game instead of a ones game again that way for the defensive shot here a little bit too high for him nice defense but to go try to flick him on the back corner this should be fine for dapper to push into Kind of weird now. Good clear by Dap. I'm gonna sit on the left side here. He's gonna probably chip it in or something. Let Dapper push up for this. Really early touch by Jelly's gonna give me time to collect this into the back end. <laughs> that was kind of a funny interaction. What is happening? Oh, I keep bumping him. Makes both of them go. I'm going to get in Nectos' way here. Or Nekos. Is it Nekos? And there we go. 
You got a free goal. <laughs> so I was basically just holding onto Nekos on the backboard. Dabber realized that. Ended up pushing out for the clear and Jelly went for a really aggressive challenge as last man. Might be perfect shot. Yeah, I didn't expect it. So I went back, back right corner. Uh, I knew Nekos would be still getting the boost from covering on the back end and Jelly was watching the left side of the, the net. So the right hand side is definitely the best spot to aim for. Don't ask what I'm doing here. Oh shoot. Ah. Should be okay. Not the best touch by me, but it does go high enough that Dapper can follow it. Nice flick. I'm gonna go high on this, so Jelly can't really clear it that well. I should have probably not went as early as I did. Nekos missed the ball though, so we have a lot of space to work with. Not too worried about this. It's an air dribble here. A little bit more worried about it now that we threw it out. Yeah. I didn't expect that, sorry. Probably should have, uh, I don't know what I could have done there. Just waited a net instead of going to the left side. I had a free catch because that was just being air dribbled down to me, but Dapper threw it out uh, off the corner towards one of them. Good challenge, but I didn't jelly. I probably shouldn't have followed that up. And Dapper's dead too, so this could be really bad. Yeah, they're going to be able to clear that pretty easily in the mid. So that hit by Dapper, I probably should have just stayed back. It's one of those situations where like, yeah, he hit it mid, but like if I don't get a perfect touch, it's probably going to be a goal. That's mostly a twos thing. Just going to wait for Nekos to hit this again or try to chase me, which is fine. There's the one pop. And there's the other one. Dapper just tried to chase him down, but at that point I already had the... Uh, the control on the next shot. I just wanted to fake him with the first hit and then go upside down and get a flick upwards. Unlucky. I'm gonna have some trust. Good speed by Nekos, but I was able to get a, a decent clear to the side. Beat him on the backboard. The dapper's up pretty early for this. I don't really want to get in, get involved in that whole play there. Just going to put that under Jelly here. Get around the one. Bump him off. Block him on that on that clear. Oh, I got in Dapper's way. That was bad. My bad. Let's see what he does in the corner here. It's not, not too worrying. I'm going to fake this and go back down. I'm just going to bait him off the backboard. It's going to come down awkwardly though. Dapper challenged really, really aggressively and they missed the mark. So that's okay. <laughs> Otherwise, if they put it on target, it would have been really dangerous. Well, not dangerous. It would have been a goal, to be honest. Ouch. Nice fake challenge by Dapper. I didn't see it happen, but I know that he did because I could hear his car. Try to bump him. Oh, he didn't go up fast enough. Try and get behind him here. Decent challenge to get it to the side. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to watch Dapper to see what he was doing there off the ceiling. He'll bump Neko so it's longer 1v1 for Dapper. Nice kill. I can't quite, quite get there though. It's going to be Jelly again. So wait for, or Neko, sorry. There we go. Get the mid, mid from him. Try to follow this up. Oh, almost on the block. It's a pretty aggressive challenge by me, though. All right, here we go. Oh my, that almost worked. <laughs> See if he can... Oh, Dapper's really far back. I'm just going to wait behind. Get the left side here for him. Decent save. I'm going to bump him. Dapper wasn't ready for it, and I wouldn't expect him to be, to be honest, since this is twos. Might have went too high on that. Too fast. Good fake challenge by Dap. Oof. I got that on target. Nice. As far as I got that on target on the last end there. Hey, it's beast mode. It's funny, I was... I was actually just on YouTube recently and uh, Squishy's recommended video of 
getting back into 1v1 showed up. And uh, this was the guy he played at the beginning. <laughs> Look at nice and high, see what he has to do with this to stay near the ball. Should be lots of space to work with. Nice shot to the top bins. Let's go. So yeah, this guy this guy uh, plays a lot of ones. I think I'm not really sure. I I haven't really played like I said not a lot not a lot of ones recently. <laughs> I've been doing a bit more on stream, which if you haven't checked my stream out, uh, there's some links in the description. Oh no, <laughs> I'm too busy talking, um, for that because I, I stream daily during the week and sometimes during the weekends as well. Um, I've been doing a lot more map creation on stream too, so you guys can see what I'm working on. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming up. I've got like six or seven maps right now that I'm in the <laughs> in the works basically, and I'm not really sure what's going to be completed when. But I just kind of kind of go at it whenever. I'm gonna keep this close on the bounce. That way I can challenge him again. There we go. Not the most, not the strongest shot, but just saw that he was going to stay close to the ball, so I just popped it over him as he challenged me. Not really too aggressive by me. I could have recovered if I uh, made a mistake there. Just playing safe and smart there. All right, let's see what happens off this kickoff. I missed it. He gave me the ball back though. I'm okay with this what he just did there because that's gonna give me the ball back again go for the classic uh air dribble bump and I'll bump him again just for good measure <laughs> I actually almost saved it on my way down I realized I was trying to catch it but there's no need to and I got out of the way at the last second I'm gonna go early there just to pop it around the the opponent and then it's open for me because he was challenging me on the first hit He's trying to block my shot on target, but the entire field's open for me if he goes like a full commit into it. And uh, I read the, the fake challenge like he did last time and I knew he would challenge right away. Seeing how he has been posturing this whole game so far. But yeah, so far so, so good. There we go. He faked the fake challenge. Oof. Once again, pretty aggressive by him, and then I'm able to finish because he's pushing in really, really quickly. Just reading him pretty well. I'm seeing like where he's going and what he's going for. That helps with, uh, if you guys haven't changed this yet, the uh, nameplate size helps a lot. You might get the boost here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, I have it at 180%. Um, I find that that helps me a lot with like seeing where players are. Also, uh, if you change the nameplate mode to always visible, that also helps. I'm trying to go for me, that was pretty spooky. Not on target, but I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna go for this corner boost. See what happens. Fake? <laughs> Let's go. That was sick. I didn't end up getting back to the wall as soon as possible, but scoop back to it and then pinched it in with him not bad not bad and for the brazil too not really sure what this guy's doing on the kickoffs oh he's gonna go for the corner boost and try to push up with this i'm just gonna stay close to the ball and it's pretty much free for me Got more than enough time to take the chip in. Um, 8 1, 2 minutes 42 left. I'm hoping. He doesn't just. I don't know. I don't know. I hope he just leaves <laughs> if uh, if he doesn't see there's any like point in trying anymore. Let's see if he uh, ends here. If not, I'll probably just cut it. Unless he makes this major comeback, which would be crazy. All right, he just would not forfeit until the very end, which is kind of funny. He waited until the last two seconds. <laughs> I was just sitting here waiting for it to finish. All right, we got a Mungstar. I was actually playing him for warm-ups earlier, and uh, he actually 
won most of the games, I think. Mostly off kickoff position like this, so I gotta really change something up off, off kickoff. Should be a good enough 50-50 to survive here. I'm gonna play my possessions really smart. Just like that. Just try to fake him on the chip. I'm gonna try and figure out his kickoffs here in this game. And if I can do that, I can probably take a lot more goals. He seems to just wait behind the ball for me to hit it first. Got the read on his hit though. I don't think I got the open net. Take the boost here. He's very aggressive. There we go. Once he turned off the ball, I was able to read that he was going to try and chip it high or something. It's pretty risky of me, but it does pay off. Let me see if I can do what he's doing. He's going really slow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing. Oops. Missed jumped on my uh, the kickoff here. Just going to bump him a little bit. Got to be careful of his bumps. There we go. Just going to get in his way. Oh, I didn't get in way, his way enough. He ended up reversing, getting out of my way, and then trying to take a shot. I think that all comes from doing a slower kickoff, though. Just waits for you to make the mistake. Yeah. Really dumb of me. I should just let him go and fake challenge, because he's going to be low boost. There we go. Got to get kick off. I think I figured him out. That should be good for the rest of the game. Oh, he missed. Oh, I missed again. Good save. Should we get this boost though? Should have went off target instead of towards him. And that's my biggest thing is that I'm going towards him instead of um, around him. Let's see what he does here off this play. Didn't go for me. Gotta avoid him. trying to avoid his yeah just this whole thing he plays off possession like yeah see he plays very grounded a lot as well and i'm just trying to get used to that kind of style instead of the other styles we've been playing he chips it in off the off the wall pretty early every time let's see if i can do the slow kick off again yeah that's what he's doing he's just not boosting all the way that's why he's able to save a lot more. My bad. Really bad challenge. He's able to get a lot of possession off kickoffs though. I'm trying to figure out how to stop him from doing that. I used to have a really good kickoff in ones, but I've kind of slowed it down. There we go. He's going to probably stay on this or back off. That's fine. It's going to be an awkward save for him. And I gave it right to him. Just waiting for my mistake once again. He's very low boost. I can probably just go in on this. Good save. I think he missed. Yeah, it's going to go up. Oh. Go for the boost first. I'm going to go across the net, the field here. So he's in an awkward spot on the challenge. Threw it back to me. Let me try to close the distance here, though. He's just going to try and play defense. I'm going to just play off his aggressive challenge, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. He still has very low boost. There we go. You might get this boost off this as well. So it ended up paying off for him. 
And yeah, I should have read that. He's going to make that shot every time I push up for that. The way it was bouncing. I should have waited for it to fall first, then push up. Pretty dumb of me. Should have take this game, though. He does that challenge every time. He might get in my way here. Stay close. He's gonna go across for the boost. I still have enough here. There we go. Oh. Well, I don't think he meant to do that. <laughs> we take those though. I think I fake maybe faked him or something. He tried to challenge my pop or something off the sidewall. I went fast on the kickoff again instead of slow, which might be, uh, that's fine. It's off target. I'm going to go around the other way. I tried to go the other way because I knew he was going to demo me. Try to get over him. Oh, could have got the goal there. Might be able to get possession off this. I have zero boost here. You could try to just keep it up. This could be a goal for me if I can get there. I don't think I can though. He's gonna hit it away, which is fine. My analog stick is falling apart. <laughs> the rubber on it falls off. There we go. Got a good kick off. It's totally fine. He's just doing that to buy time for himself. He has kickoff possession. I mean, not possession, kickoff possession, just possession here. I should go early for this boost instead of, you know, look for me again. So I'm just going to avoid it. Get the boost off of him. I think he has a low boost. Oh, I could have just scored the whole time. I didn't realize I could have just boosted that um, instead of going early. That's pretty good. I'm glad that I uh, came back from losing against him earlier um, off recording and off stream before I started the recording. It was actually me playing him that I, gave me the idea to do this once till I lose thing or just any game mode. I can't really queue for <laughs> any games right now. It's kind of weird as you can see. <laughs> um, it just says loading for me. So I just end up queuing for all three. I think it's just saved to what I had before. All right. So we got Among Star again. Um, I actually wouldn't mind at this point if I lost this game because it is getting quite late. And I uh, got a pretty good streak going. If he goes for that corner boost, it's going to be an over aggression for him. Oof. It's going to bounce off the corner for me. Yeah, I did a little fake air dribble to make him back off to the back corner. And then once he pushed up again, I went underneath the ball and popped it over him. I don't know how my kickoffs are going to be against him on these. I'm going to stay really aggressive here. I might go for the demo off of this. i be really careful. A lot of players do that now. There we go. Got the boost as well. Not sure why he switched to the Dominus. Might be open for me if I can get the angle. It's a little bit harder than you think to score those when you have so much pressure because they can recover so fast and you don't want to miss because then you're overcommitted in their corner. In threes, obviously, you just take a shot and hope it works out. But uh, in, in ones and you know what, even in twos sometimes. Oh, uh, even in twos, like it's scary to go for those kind of shots because you can put yourself, your teammates in a 1v2 really, really fast at high level grand champion. Just got in the middle of the two options that he had. Should I get the boost and stay with this? I'm going to do my little, my little game where I keep possession and see what he does here. Went the opposite way. Oh my god, he almost got a save. <laughs> Ended up popping off the top of his car. 
That was really strange. I faked the infield to go back on the the uh, outfield on the side flick. Ended up working out for me. He didn't expect it. I don't think he meant to hit that as hard as he did, but he seems to do that a lot where he goes like for the back corner and then comes back in for a demo. That is a monster flick if I've ever seen one. It should come back out to me if I sit in the proper position. Yeah, that's a goal. Not bad so far. Seems like his touches are a little bit less controlled on this car, so it's a lot easier for me to find possession and time. He's right now currently, I think, like rank 15 or something. Oof, I read it. I knew it was going off the corner. I just didn't know how far to go off to. It's pretty rough. Almost would have been a two goal difference. Oh, I couldn't make it. I should have been ready for that immediately. He got a lot of power. More than I expected off of his car. See if I can do the slower kickoff like I was before. Yeah, it seems to be a lot more balanced than I'm usually able to uh, keep it together. Let's go for the top corner. He's not even defending it, so I just pushed it at the last second. That was a quick game. Alright, so we got him again. He's back on Octane. <laughs> Maybe he's just doing the thing where you play on Dominus for a game just to feel like really amazing because sometimes when you switch off of Dominus back onto Octane, it feels really, really good. I'm actually going to go for the corner boost. I should enough, have enough time. I already relinquished like, the possession on the ball. Maybe fast enough? You got a backflip. I'm going to stay with this now. Once he gave me the ball away on that, that turn of possession. Oof. Uh. Dang it. <laughs> I should better get this mid boost. He has like no boost right now. There we go. Had to focus for a second. I always like... I don't know, I get like really tense whenever I have to like shoot those open nets that are like super committed in ones, I don't know why. I think I figured out his kickoff. That in. That was a good shot. I actually thought he was doing the thing that he did last time. It sounded to me like from my headphones that he went for the corner boost. In my, in my end, so I did a quick turn. Interesting. I'm letting him throw it across. I have some space on the ball. Threw it across, which is fine. It's going to bounce right into mid. He's going to try and get a read on what he's going to do. Got a block on him. I should be able to land pretty speedy here. As long as I like land the way that I want to. Or the way that my, ball, my, my car is already uh, facing. Momentum wise. Got a good block on him. That boost actually baited him in for. Um, oh, did he get it? He did get it. That boost kind of baited him in to go for the corner. He would go for the demo. It's fine. He's going to try and go for the boost, maybe? Interesting play. So I can go for the air drill bump again here. Good defense. I'll take this back to my corner again. Should beat him. He might go for the demo on this. He learned that I'm not going to fall for that. Oh, I went too heavy into that 50-50. Dude, my stick. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, no, you can't. The lighting's too terrible. But I don't know if you can see the metal there. It's really, really bad. <laughs> it's falling apart, man. I'm falling apart. It's hard to hold onto my stick because it's like stabbing me with the metal.
go for the back corner once he throws it to me here. He might get the boost here too, off of that. Oof. There we go. Boost should spawn for me. Oof. This is a bit awkward. There we go. Just take the boost. Just going to keep boost possession here. Let's bring it back. I want to give him too much space to get pads, though. Oof. I missed the catch, but I should be able to... That was really bad. I say still be able to take it in. There we go. Got a 50 again. He's going to have a full boost. Just bump him off a little bit. Oh, he went for that. Oh, I didn't get quite the corner. I get quite get the corner there. Just gonna keep pressure. This could be uh, could be the last game, which I actually, like I said, I wouldn't mind at this point. It's pretty late. Pretty aggressive challenge by him, though. Oh, perfect. That was pretty risky by me, but I just had to make it happen. We had 41 seconds left to get a goal here. Seems like he's playing pretty defensive. And safe. Oh, I almost got the demo. Good speed by him. Could be a goal too. He's rewarded for it. I should have just baited out his, his double pop. Because then I could just take it back. Really don't want me to jump for that so early. When he has all the space in the world. Ooh, he has no boost. Could go in quick for this. Ah, uh, damn. This would be too hard for him to score this. This is what he does at the end of the game when he's up a goal. He, he's really aggressive and just bumps you on your possessions. He's going to waste as much time as he can here. Oof. Oh, I couldn't get it. Damn. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'm glad that I actually lost that, to be honest. I didn't want to play anymore. It's like 3.16 a.m. I've been playing for two hours, waiting for cues and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely should have won that last game. A lot of mistakes at the end of the game where I could have taken advantage of him. He's very overcommitted in a lot of things, and uh, his positioning is easy to read because he's always waiting for the next opportunity. So if you can just fake him a little more, like I could probably play around his uh, his assumptions, basically. And I wasn't really doing that enough. I wasn't faking him enough. You can see the one time where I chipped it around, like it ended up working where I faked the chip instead of going for it. He's just expecting too much. So I, I should really play out of that and do my own thing. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we got one twos game in there for some reason. It just randomly showed up. But otherwise, late at night like this at high level, you usually get ones games. So hope you guys enjoy the ones games. I know you guys like me playing ones. It's just, uh, I don't know, not my cup of tea anymore, I would say. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video.